Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm back. This time we're going to be talking about weathering waves because this game we're literally three days away from the full launch of weathering waves. And before we jump into this one, let me just say like, share and subscribe. Smash the sub button. It really does help me out and I appreciate all the love I've been getting. But yeah, let's jump into this. So we basically we had the Japanese, Chinese and uh, English live streams. Um, I stayed up, it was around about 2 a.m., 2.30 a.m. for myself here in the UK for the English speaking live stream. And um, I have to say, I was a little bit disappointed um, because it was a little bit, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be polite here, but it was a little, a little bit cringe. Um, I preferred watching the Japanese one. Obviously, I couldn't understand the Japanese one, but that one felt just felt it was better. It was, you know, it was done better. But anyway, nevertheless, um, the English speaking one didn't actually provide us any more different information. So luckily, the guys over here at Pride and uh, GG, I'll put this in the comment section down below so you can go ahead and check this out. They luckily have um, put this into a blog post so I can go through it here with you guys and girls. So basically, um, there's a brand new trailer that was aired. Uh, so I'll have that for you guys and girls to see. And another cool thing here is they actually have the countdown for the preload and for the full release. So if you go onto this website and have a look, you'll be able to see yourself because it will obviously be for your time zone, how many hours, etc. are left. So we're 21 hours away from the preload and we are actually two days and 13 hours away from the full release. So super hype for that. I'm going to be live streaming the full release over on my Twitch channel. Again, links will be down in the comment section below. It's going to be like a 3 a.m. Um, start for myself. So anyone who can, you know, join me, join me on the stream and uh, chat to me to keep me awake, I would greatly appreciate it. But we've got some good information here. So we have the limited banners for the patch 1.0. We're going to be getting Gion first. So his banner will be from the 23rd. So from the release date up until the 13th of June. And then after Gion, once his banner goes away, we're going to be getting Ying Lin. Uh, her banner is going to be from the 13th of June up until the 4th of July. So we're looking at roughly three weeks um, between banners, which is standard for like you know for gacha games and then we're also getting we're getting um by the way up to like 40 plus free pools so for a free to play player we're going to be getting 40 plus free uh banner pools which is amazing and then we also have this so we have the selector banner so on top of the 50 pool discounted banner where you obtain a random five star standard character another newbie banner has been announced. So you can select any five star standard character and you will obtain it within 80 pulls. So it's a guarantee. Um, it wasn't fully confirmed, but this banner should use the standard tickets, the same as the standard banner. And then they have a picture, picture for us to have a look at um, here. And then, so this, this means that you can get two five star characters within 120 pulls one random and one of your choice so they're saying they're not sure how long it's going to take to gather enough pulls to do it but the game usually throws a lot of standard tickets at you uh, on the release and then we've got additional rewards so on top of the 20 standard banner tickets that we will receive from the pre-register rewards because by the way we've hit over like 32 million signups for the game which is absolutely insane um, so on top of the 20 standard banner tickets, we're going to be getting another 20 tickets, which is going to arrive in our in-game mail. Basically, as soon as the game's launched, a day or two after, we're going to get 20 more tickets. Um, the other events mentioning Sanwa and Yuwa are also happening as well. Um, and the mail with the tickets will contain 10 standard tickets and 10 rate-up tickets. So they really are, um, they really are like giving us so much uh, free pulls as a as a free to play player, and as just as a whole, they're just giving everyone a lot of stuff here. So we've got the um, like I said here, here was the pre-register milestones, 
And as a community, we absolutely smashed all of that. So we've hit the 30 plus. This is obviously an old photo, but it's currently on, I believe, 32 million. So we've got every single one of these. Um, so we're going to get 20 times uh, Lustrious Tide, which is the standard summon tickets. We're getting 80k shell credits, 10 advanced resonance potion, which gives experience points to the character, 200 Asterite, which is the premium currency, one times Sigil uh, en route, and then one times the Ranger Series weapon selector box, which is this one here, self-explanatory. We're going to get to obviously pick a weapon. And then um, these are just images of the, the weapons that should be in the box. So you have pistol, a rectifier, a sword, gauntlets, and a, and a like a great sword called a broad blade. Then we also have the gifts of Foring Frost. This one is pretty simple. You just need to log in every single day. And then after the fifth day of just logging in and playing the game, we're going to be getting Sanwa completely free no need to pull for her we just we just get her just for playing the game for five days which is really 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 cool um so we're going to get four times lustrous tide which again is the standard summon tickets four times radiant tide which is the rate up summon tickets and then one times obviously like i said sanwa which is amazing then we have another event in the game it's called the awakening journey the Awakening Journey is a permanent event that rewards you for increasing your union level, which is your account level. The rewards in this event are really good, and the faster you are climbing ranks, the faster you will be able to obtain them. So, you can see 5, 15, 25, 35, and level 45. So, at level 5, you get 5 summon tickets, standard ones, 200 Asteroite, at level 15, you get another five tickets, another 200 Asteroite. At level 25, we get 15 standard summon tickets and then two crystal solvent, which is 60 stamina each. Then at level 35, we get another 15 standard summon tickets. And then we get one winter, at level 45, excuse me, we get one winter broom weapon box and then a thousand Asteroite, which is the premium currency. So again, we have more weapons, a sword, gauntlets, rectifier, pistols, and a broad blade. But obviously these are uh, better weapons. They're of higher grade. They're five star to be precise. Then we have another event called the Rumbling Hollows. This is again a permanent event that simply requires you to unlock the Tower of Adversity mode. And then you just have to clear the experiment zone there. And then with that, you will get 80k shell credits two premium energy core which is the experience points for the weapon and then we will get the two premium resonation reson 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 resonance jeez <laughs> potion which gives us experience points for the character and then we get the character called uh yunwu yanwu and then we have the rumbling hollows so there are six pages of beginning missions in the uh inscription so that's, this is like, they're going absolutely crazy with all of the events, all of the, the free pulls that we're going to be able to have. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to the game. Hype is at an all time high. And like I said, we're a couple of days away and I'm going to be live streaming it over on my Twitch as soon as the game goes live. So join me over there, like, share and subscribe and comment down below. Who are you trying to pull for? Which banner are you going for? I'm looking to go for um, Yinling uh, because she just looks absolutely amazing. So yeah, anyway, that's going to be it for today. Stay tuned for more videos once the game has gone live from myself here. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Peace.